you another example. So if I were to pose this question to you, which, which one of these photos looks like what Barack Obama really looks like? Which one of these looks like what Barack Obama really looks like? Those three went through pretty quickly, but I bet you got a sense of what he's what he really looks like. Now, when we asked that question, we found that some people said the images at the top best reflected how Barack Obama really looks. Of those people, 75% of them voted for Barack Obama in the 2008 election. But some people said the ones at the bottom best reflect how Obama really looks. Of those people, eight, over 75%, over 80% over voted for John McCain. Now, what does all of this mean? Well, what it means is that we have ideas about how a leader is supposed to look. And in the minds of people back in 2008, it looked like a leader needed to have light skin. And if he didn't, then they weren't inclined to vote for him. It, just that's like deep. it's wrong. It, sorry? I said that's deep. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's deep and it's, and it's unfortunate hey. too. But it brings a lot of, of perspective and insight into what's going on in the minds of people as they think about what does a leader look like? We think leaders have light skin, but that's wrong. Just like it's wrong to think that there's a right way to dress or that there's a right way to see that horse or the seal animal, it's not true. And it's not right to think that leadership needs to look light skin. Because in fact, it doesn't. We can look at some of the most amazing leaders in our society across all different factions of our society right now.